either I can date the mailman or the pool guy, or I gotta get out of the house. Love is Blind contestant Renee Poche is suing Netflix and production company Delirium TV. According to her lawsuit obtained by E! News, the season five cast member says she, quote, felt like a prisoner and alleges she was set up with a, quote, walking red flag. Poche says she got engaged to Carter Wall on the show, but most of their storyline and even their wedding was cut from the final episodes, which premiered in September 2023. Per the court documents, which allege Wall was, quote, unemployed with a negative balance in his bank account, homeless, violent, estranged from his family, and actively addicted to drugs and alcohol at the time, quote, little did Poche know that she would be matched with a walking red flag, an individual named Carter Wall. The suit continues, Wall's erratic and alarming behavior and emotional instability became glaringly obvious to Poche and the production staff. Poche became utterly terrified to be around him and made her misgivings clear to production. The veterinarian alleges that the show's production team had, quote, concerns about her fiancé, quote, warning Poche to ensure he did not have access to firearms or other weapons. Poche also says Delirium TV told her she would face legal action if she were to leave Love is Blind or discontinue the engagement. Her lawsuit reads, In this climate of fear and unease, Poche began to spiral physically, mentally, and emotionally. The court documents further allege when not filming, Poche was locked in her hotel room, unable to leave without a cast wrangler accompanying her. She was expressly forbidden from interacting not only with other participants, but also with random hotel guests and staff. In some ways, and this is a sentiment shared by many participants, Poche felt like a prisoner. Per her lawsuit, Netflix and Delirium TV accused Poche of violating her non-disclosure agreement by speaking publicly about her experience and are seeking $4 million. But she says the NDA is, quote, illegal and unenforceable and notes that she moved forward with litigation to free herself from, quote, all forms of liability. E! News has reached out to Wall as well as defendants Delirium TV and Netflix for comment but has not heard back. A statement from Poche provided to People reads, My experience on Love is Blind was traumatic. I felt like a prisoner and had no support when I let Delirium know that I didn't feel safe. I tried to deal with these emotions over time and eventually felt like I needed to share what had happened. I felt it was only right to let others know the truth of what all the castmates had to endure. However, regarding a different lawsuit, creator Chris Colin told People in October, If you stay, that is your decision. The participants are not under our control. They are living their lives. We come in. We film them for a period of time. We leave. They can leave as many, many, many people have before, any time they want.